Hello everybody, it's Squeakerwood HCG coming to you on Sunday evening. Hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful weekend and um, hope everything's going well for everybody. Um, today is day, I believe it's day number 62 of round two and it is my LIW. Excuse me, I wanted so badly to be at 140, 154.6. But today I was at 157. I am 2.4 for my 50 pound goal, but I hope, you know, pounds and inches would disagree, but I hope I can lose 2.4. And, you know, I don't know. It's just crazy. It's crazy to have something in your mind that you want. And so I'm just going to keep, um, I'm just going to try to stabilize and not gain and do this until August the 21st, I believe, is whenever I will start round three. So I started this journey at, I'm sorry, Dexter's barking at the water. I started this journey at 204.6, um, and then my second round, I started at 183, and then now I'm at 157, so... Anyway, and I believe I'm about, I'm going to, I'm going to measure, but I'm about 12 inches off my hips and somewhere there about off my waist, but I'm going to measure again tomorrow just to see. Um, Sugarbug and I were, she texted me this morning saying it was her LIW because she was, she had ran out and she didn't want to mix more. So uh, we had talked earlier this week about doing it at the same time so we could be on the same days and all that. So that's what I chose to do this morning after I got a text. So she's done so well. I hope she vlogs to let everybody know how she's done. I think she's somewhere about 75 pounds, 80 pounds, and on her second round. It's crazy. So anyway, it's so crazy whenever I breathe in how you can see my scar goes out to here. But this is plates and screws, so it just looks so creepy. So, um, I had a, I, I didn't really want to have a little bit of a gain here at the very end, but I have to tell you what happened. Um, everybody always made comments to me about my hair and that, just, oh, I love your hair and, you know, the contrast. And I, I had my hair like that for so long and, um, never had a problem with it. But yesterday I went to this girl that I've gone to only once and um, I told her you know just I want the platinum blonde that I've always had always had but just be don't put it so wide because it makes me look bald for a couple of days and she's like oh so she got her assistant to put black the start all over my head and I was like what in the world is she doing and then she said well I'm gonna put the blonde in so she put blonde and after so she did all this and put blonde and then she took it off and I looked like a tangerine and then she did it again and took it off and I didn't see it and she put it on again she put bleach on my hair three times and the third time she got a flat iron and was putting it on there just holding it and it was sizzling and sizzling and sizzling. This is my husband's little drumstick. But you can see all this right here. You see what I'm talking about? Those were my bangs. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see all of through here all the way back to here. This is all burnt. It's burnt all back here. It's burnt all over my head. So it's melted. So, anyway, I went to Ulta. Well, I left there, I came home, and I looked in the mirror, and I was nearly in tears. I called, she was already gone, and it cost me $140. I came home, oh, I called her, she was, she was gone, and then I went to Ulta to just see if there's anything, what I need to do. And they told me to put macadamia nut a mask and this oil all over my hair and leave it overnight put a plastic cap on leave it overnight and put that on the oil several times I'm sorry Dexter 
Dexter! And so, anyway, I slept with oil on my head last night. I put oil on there today. Dexter! So, anyway, I'm so sorry for him. But anyway, the next time you see me, I may be bald. I'm praying that it all doesn't break off, even with my head. The girl at Ulta said it's noodled, whatever that means, which is melted. But she said, um, I don't know. She said, just keep putting this oil on there. Keep, you know, just do, don't put heat on it. Don't do this. And she said, um, maybe it won't break off. But she said, I don't know. And so, I don't know. I told my husband that makes me all teary, but I told my husband I may um, end up shaving my hair off. I don't know. My mother said, well, just wear do-rags. I said, I'm going to be like those old men, leave it long on the sides and put a do-rag on and wear it that way every day. I don't know. I don't know. Especially if all of this, including, you know, back on here breaks off. And I mean, I just have this. This is the only piece right here. And the rest of all of that is broken. So anyway, I need to get off of it and just leave it alone because I've I've just harped about it to my husband all you know every time you look in the mirror, every time you feel it's like oh my gosh. So maybe Tuesday she'll call me back. I don't know what she's I don't know what I'm gonna do. So maybe she'll give me my money back. Yay, and I'll be bald. But anyway. I guess I will go for now, and um, I'll come back tomorrow with my measurements and all of that sort of thing, and I'm just bummed. After I started talking about my hair, now I can't even remember what I said earlier, so anyway, I guess I'll go for now, and I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, we're going to make Fluffy No Mo's Concentrated Tea, and I wanted to thank you for the recipes. I've got to try those rolls, the muffins, and uh, the fries. Yummy, yummy. The zucchini fries. So I'll talk to you guys later. Welcome back, Joanne. Bye.